Hello everyone. Um, first of all, before I begin this, I want to say happy birthday to Pixie Mom's son James. He just turned nine. Um, you'll probably be seeing this tomorrow because it'll probably be sometime late tonight before I get this up. Um, but I want to wish him a happy birthday and hope that he got everything that he wanted for his birthday and that he enjoyed it. Here's, and I'll try to get you, um, James, I'll try to get you a little something up later on, maybe either late this week or next week. I'll try to get up, a, I'll try to put a song up for you and that you and your sisters will enjoy. Anyways, going to what I was originally wanting to do this for is this is a response to a video that Greg Gallows did and some questions that he posted. Greg does a series of videos called MMYB where people send in requests for him to do stuff and he'll do them. He has recited monologues from plays and has even went so far as to set his hair on fire. I don't know why but he, he does what he he does what he can to uh, honor his fans and his request and he is an internet and he is a YouTube legend. So I uh, hope he doesn't forget what I requested. Hope you don't forget that Greg. But anyways First question, would you rather use, lose an arm or a leg? If I had a choice, I'd rather you lose an arm, probably my left arm, just for the fact that with technology the way it is today, um, you either go prosthetics, no arm, prosthetics, or bionic. Can you think of it, just having a bionic arm? Like the $6 million man. Um, second question. Would you rather eat pig intestines or monkey brains? That one's simple. Monkey brains. There's a scene from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom where they're serving all of the animal stuff at Pancot Palace, and it's the chilled monkey brains that end up getting Willie, the female lead in the movie, to actually finally faint after all of the uh, animal hors d'oeuvres that have been uh, served at this uh, little dinner gathering. Uh, the other thing, too, is in my fav one of my favorite comic strips, Get Fuzzy, one of Bucky Cat's obsessions is wanting to eat a monkey, which the only time he's ever come across one resulted in the chimpanzee trying to peel him like a banana. But Satchel Pooch, one of the other characters in the story, gave Bucky a uh, container of Ben and Jerry's uh, Chunky Monkey for his birthday, and Bucky was just really... Uh, grat grateful to Satchel because he actually thought that there was live monkeys, that there was actually monkey in it. Um, third question, if you had a choice, would you rather be buried alive or die by drowning? Um, I would rather be buried alive. Neither In both uh, instances, you suffocate, but when you drown, water will fill your lungs up. Asphyxiate, you get the illusion that you're just, you know, that you're passing out, going to sleep, and it's a little bit more... Um, painless in that sense. Um, and the other reason too, if you're buried alive, your chances are better that somebody will be able to save you and keep you from dying than there is to drowning, which in case you have seven minutes of uh, being underwater for that. Um, fourth question, would you rather have a giraffe or would you rather have a koala as a pet? That one's simple, koala, the koala bear. They're cute, they're smaller, to, they're smaller they will actually fit in your house, a giraffe will not. Um, and plus, there's a couple of characters that I like that are koala bears. One of them is from a little cartoon show that came on on Saturday mornings back around 81, lasted for a season, but Tex Avery did it, called Quicky Koala. You call him Quicky Koala. I can't, I can't believe I actually remember that little opening jingle, but the show had a couple of, had some other characters. Also, another one of my favorite characters was Crazy Claus, but Koala bears are cute in that sense, and also um, koala bears live and eat and you, uh, live in and eat eucalyptus uh, leaves. They live in eucalyptus trees, and eucalyptus is a really cool sounding word, and I've always liked it. Um, finally, would you rather know how many bugs get in your mouth when you when you sleep at night, or would you rather see all the bacteria be able to see all the bacteria and dust mites? Um, for me, I would rather know how many bugs go into my mouth when I sleep at night because if I know that, then I would know for a fact if I actually slept with my mouth open. No one has ever verified that I actually do this. So, anyways, those are the questions. 
Greg, hope that hope these answers satisfy you, and I hope to see your MMYB vids back up as soon as you can, man. Don't forget my request. Take care. God bless.